Another fantastic improvement in Studio on 5.5 is that mix scenes are now able to recall automation, which makes them even more flexible and versatile. Let me show you. So if you're not aware, mix scenes have been added in Studio One version 5 and you find them when you go to the mixer console here and then click on this button, this will open up the mix scenes. Now, what are mix scenes? Well, essentially mix scenes are snapshots of your entire mixer console that you can then recall entirely or selectively on a per channel basis. So for example, this was the mix uh, when I started out. And let's say I'm doing a couple of adjustments here on the spot, like let's say I make the snare a bit louder, maybe the kick drum a little bit louder as well, and I start to pan my toms a bit. And I want to compare if this now sounds better than what I originally had. Then I can click on the plus here, and when I do so, I can give this a name, like let's call it like volume and pan edit, something like that, hit OK. And now I can toggle between my start scene that I set originally and the adjustments that I just made with a double click. Now the great thing is that this doesn't just work with volume and pan adjustments like that, it also works with uh, inserts for example. So I could compare my mix one hour into the process with what I had before I even started gain staging and make sure that I'm still on the right track. So what you're hearing now is what I started out with and now I'm just gonna switch to yeah, what I had after the first hour of mixing. I just double click and notice how yeah, entire plugin chains were loaded to the channels here without any audible delay, which really enables you to do A-B listening. Now all of that was possible before also, but now they can also recall automation and that hasn't been the case previously before version 5.5. This makes them even more flexible and even more usable in my opinion. So for example, on this mix scene here, I'm gonna double click. I tried out like a reverb automation on the snare to give it a bit more drive. And I really like that, but I want to make sure that it sounds better overall than what I had after the first hour. So I can double click, get back to first hour where I didn't have that automation and then compare and decide how I want to proceed. So there you have it. That's automation for mix scenes in Studio One 5.5. And thank you for watching.